I'm Susan. I'm trying another new recipe and this is using my Instant Pot. I haven't filmed me using my Instant Pot in a while, but I use my Instant Pot a lot. And this is called is a Instant Pot Ground Beef and Pasta. And it sounds really good. It's got your hamburger meat, it's got spaghetti sauce, or well it calls for marinara. I'm using spaghetti sauce. Um, it's got um, I'm using penne pasta, any short pasta you can use, macaroni, whatever. I'm using penne and mozzarella cheese and all this good stuff you'll find out about. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and I hope you're having a great day. So without further ado, let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of ground beef, one tablespoon of oil, three teaspoons of minced garlic, three teaspoons of Italian seasoning, 24 ounces of marinara, I'm just using spaghetti sauce, two cups of water, one cup of beef broth, 16 ounces of short uncooked pasta, I'm using penne, We've got one teaspoon of onion powder, one cup of gra freshly grated mozzarella cheese, we've got a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, this is optional, it gives it a kick, and then we've got salt and pepper to taste. I'm setting my Instant Pot to saute. And I'm pouring in my tablespoon of oil and I'm letting my pot get hot. Now that my Instant Pot is hot, I'm adding in my ground beef. And I just want to brown that. I'm salt and peppering my beef. The recipe says to add salt and pepper at the end of the complete cooking. But I just, I like the salt and pepper when I do my meat. To me, it just tastes better that way. So that's what I did. Now that my meat is browned, it's time to add in my garlic and my Italian seasoning. I'm going to let this cook for a couple of minutes just to get the flavors together. And then I'm going to drain my hamburger meat. Now that I've got my hamburger meat poured up and letting it drain, I'm just gonna put a towel over the top to kind of keep it warm as it drains. Now I'm gonna add in my marinara or spaghetti sauce, my water. I just pour some of the water in my jar just to get every bit of the sauce out of that jar but I pour the rest of the water in there, my beef broth, my noodles, my red pepper, and my onion powder. And I cook this for eight minutes. Now I was gonna add salt to the pasta water as well, because I didn't know that the pot, if the pasta would be salty enough, but I forgot. And it ended up, it did not need any more salt than what I added to my hamburger meat. So I'm glad I didn't add any more. But I wanna cook this for eight minutes and then do a quick release. Now when using your Instant Pot, you wanna make sure that your valve is set to sealing, which mine is and it'll come up to pressure. It'll take a little while for it to come up to pressure, and then it'll cook for the eight minutes. And a quick release is just turning that valve so it's opening and all the steam will come out. And you'll hear a pin drop. 
and that's when you know that you can take your lid off. Now that you're able to take off your lid, you want to give it a good stir. You want to add in your hamburger meat and your mozzarella cheese and give it a good stir. Now this is when the recipe says to add in your salt and pepper. But like I said, I like to add mine in when I cook my meat. To me, it just gives it a better flavor. And here it is. It was really good. Very cheesy, delicious. My family loved it. It's a keeper. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Give this recipe a try. You won't be disappointed. And until next time, bye y'all.